I'm Gem and today I am sharing with you my Do The Thing A Thong TBR. I just said Do The Thing A Thong again. <laughs> I cannot say this really fun, it makes me laugh every time. A thong is a very different thing. <laughs> It's either a pair of ladies' undergarments, or if you're in Australia, a flip-flop. And we are not talking about those, we're talking about books. Do the thing a thon starts on Monday, it runs for a full week, and it's being hosted by Ashley at A Frolic Through Fiction. And the basic premise is that there are no prompts, there is no group read, there is nothing like that. You set yourself a goal, you do the thing. If you set yourself a load of goals for 2021, pick some and do them. And if you didn't, go, I'm going to do this this week. I'm going to read a book, two books. I'm going to read this particular book that's been sat on my shelf forever. I'm going to read a genre outside of my comfort zone. Literally whatever you want to do. I did set myself quite a lot of goals in 2021. We are creeping towards halfway through the year now terrifying um so it would be nice to start getting some of those boxes colored in and those things completed so uh, what i've done is i've picked four of my goals i have a stack of books here and i'm just gonna work through as many of them as i can i don't expect to get through half of them to be honest but we'll just see how many we can achieve so the four of my goals i picked was to read more horror to read more stephen king to catch up on grady hendrix and to read more manga I did read a lot of manga in the first couple of months of the year, but it has slowed down a lot. I'm not reading as much. Um, and so there's quite a lot on my shelves now that is waiting to be read. So I thought I would include it. Without further ado, let's go through the TBR and then we'll just see how many we can do. So the first one is Misery by Stephen King. This is a book that I'm really, really excited to read. I have never seen the film. The only kind of thing that I have seen is the French and Saunders parody, which I'm assuming is quite different. <laughs> but the basic premise is that there is a writer and he has just completed a book. He's really pleased with it, he really loves it, and he's about to send to his editor, but he crashes his car in the middle of nowhere and his biggest fan finds him and takes him back to her house to recuperate and reads the final draft and she is, she is not happy. She's not happy. Um, and then it's kind of like everything that happens from there. So this is definitely one of my most anticipated Stephen King. It's been on my list for a long time. So I'm really excited to read it. Top of my list is The Shining. But if you've seen my Intimidating Reads video, you know, I am quite nervous to pick that up. And I didn't think a week long readathon would be the time to try and cram that in. My partner will be excited that I'm reading this. He doesn't read, but he bought this for me for my 30th, so he'll just be pleased that I'm actually reading something he bought me because the TBR is out of control. Next on my list is Two by Grady Hendrix. So we have uh, Satan Loves You. This is about... Do I know what this is about? It kind of sounds like a comedy horror. I know that there's Satan, he hates his job... Um, I don't want to really remind myself too much, but it's Grady Hendrix, so of course I'm excited to read it. I love Grady Hendrix, and there's always a deeper meaning in his books, so sign me up. Very excited. And then we have We Sold Our Souls. This is about kind of like a heavy metal band, and they kind of split up, and one of them goes on to have like a really good career, but I don't know too much. I'm assuming somebody sold their souls. Somebody sold their soul but I don't know to what end. So again, it's Grady Hendrix. I know there's going to be layers and it's going to be awesome. So, so excited to read it. Then the next slot is actually a stack. So these ones will all be to do with the manga and the horror really. So we have all these volumes of Tokyo Ghoul. So five to nine. I started Tokyo Ghoul and have been really enjoying it and then not picked a few up but have been slowly collecting them um, and now I feel like a binge would be quite good that week so 
I mean, I have seven, because there's two more here, I have seven volume of manga. So if I could read like a whole volume a day, it doesn't take too long, only like an hour or so, um, and then work through as many of the books, that would be pretty cool. Tokyo Ghoul is about Ken Kaneki, who is attacked by a ghoul, and something happens that leads him to become the first part ghoul, part human, and he no longer fits in either of the worlds. So it's about him just coming to terms with all of that and finding where he fits in and learning about the hardships that the ghouls have to face um, and things like that. So I'm absolutely loving this series and it would just be nice to continue it. Then we have volume eight of uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. This is one of my favorite manga series and favorite anime. I had to wait a long time for this volume to come and then it arrived damaged, so. Thanks Amazon, but at least I have it now. I just haven't got around to sitting down to read it. So it seemed like the perfect opportunity to kind of catch up and just use that as part of the manga goal. And then the last one on my TBR is Moriarty the Patriot volume three. If I'm honest, these two are kind of cheating because I would love to read them anyway. And it's not really, something I have to push myself to read but as it comes under the manga goal why not so Moriarty the Patriot is like a reimagining of um Moriarty and Sherlock Holmes when they were young men and how they kind of came to know each other and came to be mortal enemies and all of that jazz but it's a really really good manga series I absolutely love the first two volumes so I'm really excited to get into this one so this is what I'm aiming to read in a week. So, you know, we'll see. It's just kind of a loose TBR. We'll just see how it goes. The plan is to vlog. So I will uh, let you know how I get on. If you're taking part, please let me know wh what you're going to be reading and what goals you've set yourself. And I'll update you later. Okay, thanks very much guys. See you next one. Bye.